Hi everybody, it's Kathy Young here and we've got three tips for you if you're a business owner for staying motivated. Now lots of Facebook pages, it's Motivation Monday, so I thought I'd share this with you. So I've got some notes here so that we don't forget what we're talking about. But Monday, motivation in small business can be really tricky. So if you're a business owner, check, stick around because this is for you. If you're not a business owner but you know someone who is, then share it with them because I'm sure that they'd love to hear about it. But the three tips that we've got for you for sharing with for business owners we hear often with business owners that there's three real main problems about staying motivated when you're a business owner particularly a business owner working from home and the three problems are it's quite isolating working on your own business can be really exciting but it can also be quite isolating because you have to spend lots of time working on your own and you, you spend a lot of time in your space um, not not communicating with others you've got to um, you've got to work really hard to make sure that you stay motivated and keep focused the second thing that we hear is that you don't always know what to do next you get there and you're ready on monday morning you go right what is it that I need to do next? What is it that I need to make this week? Make the cash register ring so that the money comes in. So there's, that's the second problem that we hear. And the third problem that we hear from business owners all the time is that it really is isolating. Um, the, when it's isolating, you don't know who you need to be checking in with. Um, you, you have people who give you lots of advice and there's lots of experts out there particularly in this platform here in Facebook and on social media there's experts every corner that you turn but how do you know which one to choose and which one is the right one for you all right so let's go back to the first one let's look at why isolate what's so isolating what you can do as a small business owner to fix that well it's pretty simple um, what you can do is why don't you see if you've got can find a running partner find someone else who's in a small business owner who also is in a similar situation to you but they really want to achieve results so what you can do is you can ring them at the end of say each week you can ring ring them at the beginning of the week and say hi Kathy here what are you what have you got on this week and you have a bit of a rundown with one another what you're going to do throughout the week and then at the end of the week you check in with one another and say hey how'd you go with whatever it was that you were going to be doing. You know, I was going to attend two networking events. I was going to contact five new um, people that I haven't spoken to before. Check in with one another to see how they're doing and how you're going. Because what it does is it helps to keep you accountable. It's fantastic. It's a really good thing to do. What you always you also can do is when you've got, you, you know that you need to be working, but you're not always sure what you should be working on. What I like to suggest is that at the begin, at the each weekend, set aside some time in order to plan the upcoming week. Or do it on a Friday afternoon if you choose. But set some time aside, block some time so that you can look at the week that's to come and then have a look and look at the appointments that you've got, look at what resources you need for each of those appointments, look at how many people you need to contact and where you're going to contact them and be ready to go for the week and put into your weekly to-do list or into your weekly calendar what it is that you've got to do on each of those days. So it makes it easy on Monday morning, you look in your calendar, you go, right, I can see that, you know, this week I've got coming up, for instance, I've got, we've got four workshops that now that's a pretty big number. So today I know that I've got to get all of my resources ready for every single one of those in order to make sure that the week runs smoothly, that the events run smoothly, and that the people who are coming along and paying to come along get exactly what they should be. So planning um, the week and setting aside blocking time and setting aside time to plan for your upcoming week is super important. It's a way to know what's going on and how to keep yourself on track and on focus. And then the third thing is out there and there's lots of people giving you advice. How do you know who you should be listening to? How do you know the person that you're listening to you can actually trust? Well, here's the biggest thing that I always look for when I'm choosing a mentor. And I have on the go usually two or three at the same time in different areas that I need to achieve results in. But I always ensure that the person that I'm speaking with and the person who's helping me and mentoring me has the results that I'm looking for. That's the number one criteria. If they don't have the results, then I don't work with them because there's lots of people who make claims and they may be true. But if I can't see the proof and they can't physically prove to me that what they're talking about is actually what they do and what happens, then I will find someone else. I'll move on and find another mentor. Um, and also, 
If you do use Facebook as a uh, place to find experts, then are they the people that you are looking, following on Facebook and listening to on Facebook and listening to their advice, do they check in regularly? So on the pages that you like to go to, are they there often? If they just duck in and out when they've only got a, an event to promote, then that's maybe someone who mightn't be able to help you as well as someone who checks in with lots of advice, who checks in with um, the different rules of each day, what the, that the different groups are looking for. So I always make sure that the person that I take my advice from not only has the result that I'm looking for, but that they check in with me regularly on whatever platform that is. So if it's face-to-face -face or if it's on a social media platform, check in regularly. So make sure that the person that you're following checks in regularly with you and they're not just selling to you all the time. They're actually giving you some great value with some great tips and all sorts of different things along the way. So those are the three things, the three different ways that we recommend to our business owners to stay motivated the three different ways. So if you've liked this, then please share it with another business owner. Um, so I look forward to ch catching up with you again really soon. Kathy Young here. If you want to boost your business profits, give those three motivation tips a try. See you soon. Bye-bye.